Hey everybody, it's Jeff with Chauvet DJ, and if you are new to the world of lighting, then this video is for you. We throw around a lot of phrases and words and sort of jargon that you may or may not be familiar with, so we wanted to take a step back and just take a couple minutes to explain what some of these terms mean, so stay tuned. Wash lighting. Just as the name suggests, you are washing a surface with color or light. It's usually a static effect, but it can be a slow fade or some other movement. And the important thing to remember about all these terms is that one lighting product can do multiple things. So you could use a wash lighting product for other things as well. Now one of the terms that lighting beginners probably have heard a lot about because it's very popular is up lighting. And again, pretty self-explanatory. You are throwing light up on a surface. So you may have seen beams of light across a special event space that really gives that space some personality, some warmth, customizes it for your event. And up lighting can also include down lighting as well. Essentially, you're putting a lighting product up against the surface and it's shooting its beam up the wall or up the surface or down to create sort of a dynamic, almost lighting architecture in the room that can really warm that space. Another popular lighting option is accent lighting or pin spotting. Essentially what you're doing is you're highlighting a feature in a special event space. Could be a wedding cake, it could be a uh, sweetheart table, it could be floral arrangements and centerpieces on the individual guest tables. But essentially there's a number of products that are designed to throw a sharp beam down to a specific focused area to draw the visual attention to that space. When it's time for the dance floor to come alive, you really need some dynamic, moving, exciting, visually thrilling effects. And that's where effect lighting comes in. So when you hear the term effect lighting, you're usually talking about things like strobes or color chases or quick fades and things like that. Quick and dynamic changes in that visual experience that can really excite us physically to encourage movement on things like a dance floor. Effect lighting is a must for parties. Now some examples of effect lighting include derbies or kintas or strobes, anything that flashes and moves and really creates that exciting dynamic experience. That's the effect lighting for your dance floor. You may have heard the term moving heads. These are unique and powerful lights that center around a moving head seated in a yoke fixture that has pan and tilt capabilities to move a beam of light anywhere you want it. It can include color changing capabilities, it can include gobo changing capabilities, very powerful features all in moving head fixtures. Another very popular feature, and one you might have heard about, is GOBOs. What is a GOBO? G-O-B-O. -O. Well, it's actually an acronym that stands for Goes Before Optics. Now, we don't have to get into the technicalities of that, but a GOBO is essentially a silhouette, which can be etched in steel or glass or even plastic, that when light is projected through it, it projects that silhouette or that shape onto a surface. Great for customized monograms, corporate events, weddings, things like that because the array of gobo possibilities is endless. DMX stands for Digital Multiplex. It's a universal protocol for controlling lighting, no matter what the manufacturer of the light is. There was a time when each manufacturer had their own unique protocol to control their lights. It was cumbersome and confusing. Digital Multiplex, or DMX, solved that problem, and now it is the standard universal protocol to control LED lighting. IP rating. IP stands for Ingress Protection. Essentially, it means a light is weatherproof. Now, there are different levels of IP ratings. 
depending on whether it's just sort of water resistant or whether things can actually be submerged and things like that. But essentially it takes a light and it makes it resistant to things like water and mud and dirt and dust. So it really takes the power of lighting and makes it available indoors or outdoors. So great lighting really takes on a life of its own when it has some particles in the air. And the effects that are used to achieve that are called atmospherics. These fall into the categories of fog machines, haze machines, low-lying haze machines, anything that sort of creates a, a sort of an atmosphere and particles where you can see beams of light really come alive in a space. There's lots of other terms and things to go over, but this is a good start on some basic terminology that you may hear when you're exploring lighting. And I would say welcome to the world of lighting. Stay tuned for much more at ChauvetDJ.com and all our social media channels. In the meantime, thanks for watching.